everybody. Aaron from Hunter Creek Farm and Bush Logging Services. Uh, today I'm just going to do a review uh, and an unboxing, really start with an unboxing of this uh, Tomahawk Backpack Fogger. And uh, I had a friend of mine who had a fogger and then I started researching foggers online and it looked like fogging was a pretty good way to take care of mosquitoes, knock down some horse flies, things like that. Just generally make being outside that much better. And I looked at Steel and a couple others online, and this one uh, got a really strong, re uh, you know, review of, uh, you know, from users. And I'm looking at it here. It's $319. This is the Turbo version, the TMD14 Turbo Boosted Backpack Fogger. And I will post up some of the specifications for you, but um, I'll go ahead and, and open it up and let you take a look. I did buy two different chemicals uh, to use in the fogger, and these were recommended by Amazon, and then also got really good reviews. Uh, this one here is a, a growth inhibitor, and it is actually rated for indoor and outdoor use, which I liked, just indicating that it's safer than uh, some other products. Now, it may not be rated for indoor use as a fogger, uh, you know, crack and crevice and some surface spraying, I, you know, I don't think it'd be kind of crazy to go blow this up for your house, but you know, in my case, uh, with a shipping container, what I'll probably do is just fog the shipping container, close the door, and leave, right? And then if there's any insect life inside the shipping container, it'll take care of it. Um, and this is one to two ounces per gallon, and this has a uh, 3.7 gallon tank, so it's got a pretty large tank. This one here is a mosquito uh, control agent. It was $100, and this one here was, was 89 yes it was $89 so uh, pretty expensive well, you know really about 200 bucks for the two chemicals plus the 320 or so for the unit so I mean you're in for 500 bucks but hopefully this is something that will last a lifetime and this one I really like because uh, it is it's concentrated and it makes 32 gallons in total but it's really made of organics from flowers and other things so um, I felt like this was really kind of one of the safest options that I saw. And again, they got good reviews. Um, I also like the idea of being able to spray it around horses and you know, in the stalls and places like that where flies and such may congregate. Uh, this may do a great job for that as well. So uh, you know, the whole idea of fogging is you blow the fog into the areas where these insects are living during the day, uh, bottom sides of leaves and in the grass and bushes and trees, and stuff like that. If this stuff gets on and kills them. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up and we'll take a quick look at what's in the box and then I'll try to get some footage of actually using it. Uh, this says that it has a 40 foot horizontal so you're just spraying out 40 feet that way or 25 feet up in the air which is a pretty good distance. Uh, you know with mosquito spraying you're only killing the ones that are within range of being able to detect you uh, personally so You've got to shoot it into the trees, into the swamp, you know, places like that, and then repeat that process. Uh, I've read online that it, it seems to, you know, work for about two to three weeks, and you got to repeat. So keep that in mind. It's an ongoing process. It's a tube for the blower. In essence, what this is, it's a backpack blower with a tank on it that streams liquid down into it, and then it uh, has a spinning element which, at, you know, uh, breaks it up and then the, uh, the blower takes it away. This is the business end of the uh, feed and it's got this little spinning thing here so the liquid comes in, feeds into this and this is spinning because of the blower and out it shoots. Measuring bottle, tubing, parts, and a screen of some sort. Okay, I'm back. I had to take a break, I had to turn the fan on. I'm in my garage, but it's uh, March in Florida and it's still hot. And I'm getting ready to go out to dinner and I don't want to be sweating completely by the time I get there. So, more of the tube assembly. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Cardboard, it's got to be a 
Uh, this unit here, I'll have to get them weight for you. It's pretty heavy, but you know, you're not going backpacking with it. Add three gallons of liquid into the top, you're probably going to notice that you're carrying it, especially if it's hot, you know, which is going to be during mosquito season. So, uh, looks like some pretty healthy shoulder straps here. Some tomahawk on them, got some nice cushioning, easy clip on to somewhere down here. This is like one of those projects where I'm not so sure you have to actually read the instructions. Obviously this will screw onto here, which I'm not going to assemble this for you in, in total. Uh, got a couple pieces that fit together, a couple pieces that twist. come down towards the end and I think you've got two options for what goes on the end. This is going to slip on to whatever the last piece is. This is interesting because it has a smooth fitting and this one is also a smooth fitting. There's no, there's no locking mechanism here on the end to put this together. Uh, and then what we have here, we've got a couple parts that look like they're going to be part of getting this tube assembly from the tank out to the end here. Uh, comes with a little wrench, like a spark plug wrench, and a cap that goes on to something. I'm guessing it's like an oil cap. It's probably a pretty good way of ensuring that you put oil, or it's actually mixed fuel, so you would do that, but let's see what this goes on. Uh, here's the throttle body. It also comes with Who to call if you need help? Advertising for another product with a 6.6 .6 gallon tank on it. it. Better be a stud if you're going to carry that for long. The operator's manual. You know, it looks like we can also go to their YouTube channel and look at some videos, which would be helpful. And then the one sided, one piece assembly instructions so this should be pretty easy to put together so we'll go ahead and work on putting this together and then uh, get it gassed up I think it's 50 to 1 ratio and, uh, for the fuel and then get uh, this mixed up and actually I'll use both of these in there at the same time and get it ready to go and then uh, when I get out to the farm tomorrow I'll uh, spray around the farm and then bring it home spray around the house out in the back since we live on a conservation air lot it'll be good to have a knockdown of the mosquitoes there so stay tuned we'll get you some more uh, footage of it actually in use. All right, so the starting process is easy. I'll show you that. Just a couple things that uh, I noticed. One is make sure that this valve is perpendicular to the tube before you do anything. That's make sure that it's off. This one happened to be open. I filled this and it started running right out the tube on the floor. So be mindful of that. Second, uh, on these clips down here, these keep coming off, so I ended up putting some Gorilla tape around those to keep those in place. I, on the knob, on the adjustment knob on the end, the numbers are really hard to read, so I figured out the numbers and put a reference point on there with a paint pen. Uh, so it'll make it easy to dial in. It's easy to use too much uh, material, too much liquid. Uh, it'll come out really fast and it'll burn through it really quickly. I've got a gallon left in here, and we'll see how fast this goes when I get started. And then uh, the last part is that this plastic piece down here on my back just seemed to be in the wrong spot and it was uh, quite uncomfortable so I may have to find a foam pad or something like that but to get this thing started you know it started up nice and easy there's a primer bulb uh, up underneath underneath here and this, this is clear in the instructions so just look at the manual pump that a few times put your choke on and uh, make sure that this is on run pull
So you can see it was easy to shoot up into the trees. It's got pretty good reach. This uh, curved nozzle is kind of convenient, but you can also shoot down below. But you know, mosquitoes are hanging out in the trees and the bushes, so uh, hopefully they'll take care of it. So hopefully this video helps you too. And uh, good luck with your projects and keeping those mosquitoes under control.